I want you to click yes and it'll take you directly to a portal, okay, um, to your printer dashboard, okay. So before this, um, what will happen is that you will get a login code here, okay. So you need to create an admin user, okay. So um, welcome to printer dashboard, enter user ID and password um, to create an admin user, okay. So what you'll do is that you'll enter a password, a user ID and your name and surname, um, and this will be your portal to go and basically access your code printer. Okay, and then I get access, okay. So I really like this layout of this printer dashboard because it tells you how many cards um, cards to print until you need to insert a cleaning card. Okay, so we, if we very in the green, which is good, um, you have 500 cards until you need to print again. Then um, how many like, print, print ribbon supplies you have, you can order supplies from here. Get the supply details, um, which is great. So, sorry, I'm just going to exit this. Okay. Um, what happens, yeah, so you've got a 92% supply level, so this is great, um, meaning that you don't need to replace your ribbon, okay? So go back to your home, print the dashboard. Then what I like is that it'll tell you how you've connected to the DS3 is through USB. You can either go through Ethernet or the cloud. Um, you can also switch to quiet mode, so if you're in an office full of people, it can be great for a quiet mode. Um, you can also change your LED color, um, which is also really great. Um, so depending on your brand color, you can change your LED color, um, which is which is quite a nice touch. So I'm just going to save it to purple. Okay, so I'm going to change this from like a quite blue kind of color to a more purpley color. Um, and you can see there will be a change. Yeah, so you can see that it has changed um, quite nicely. Then um, there's firmware and no cards available. Okay, so next I'm gonna navigate the maintenance where you can do you can create a cleaning card. You can put a cleaning card straight from your dashboard. Okay, so you can click run. Um, you place your cleaning card in the um, printer in the hopper and it'll clean it directly if you click run okay what I like about this is that it gives you a nice little diagram to explain how to do it we don't have locks but um, more advanced printers will have locks okay um, great it gives you a little bit more information about it then you can print a test card okay so here you can choose the different um, templates that you'd like to print this one's quite nice if you've got color um, so depending on what color and um, what ribbon you put in will depend on what you're gonna choose. Then monochrome, um, you can choose. Yeah, so these are great because you can do top coats, laminates, and magnetic stripes. So you can play around with this. Um, don't go into configuration too much because you don't want to be changing the settings of your printer. Um, so yeah, you don't want to be changing the temperature and all of that because it could snap the ribbon and yeah, you will be having to do that, which isn't fun. Um, and there's a lot more things that you can look at, but yeah, these are the main things that I want you to look at when you're looking at your printer.